Hello again, all my friends, students, parents, teachers, anyone watching this video. There was a comment about me talking about pets earlier. Yes, I love my pets. I love your pets. I love pets in general. Animals are awesome. But today we're not talking about animals. We're actually going to be talking about nets. What kind of nets are we talking about, Mysteria? Oh, we're talking about um, a net that it can look like. Maybe like this. Hmm. That doesn't look like any net I know. It kind of looks like a seashell. That. Oh, okay. I see it now. That might be a net. So this is the net that you can... Is this a net that we can catch fish in? Fish. You can catch fish in there. We're talking about pets, right? Yeah, a we're talking about the pets. pets. <laughs> now, we're not going to catch any dogs or cats in this way. We will catch some fish. You want another fish? How about yes. you draw a fish? Oh, I'm not sure if I can throw a fish, but I'm going to try. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> Mysterio, you ruined our net. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to draw this fish. Maybe there. There. That's okay. A fish. That looks like a weird looking fish, but that's fine. That's a good so, fish. Just for, uh, for future reference, or not for future reference, but for current reference, this fish was drawn by Mr. Benjamin. Happy face. And, and this fish was drawn by me and it's a very happy very very happy fish so that is mrs t that fish looks like it's in pain we should put it out of its misery bye bye fish but now we have a hole in our net <laughs> anyways these aren't the nets we're talking about is it what no. <laughs> okay the nets that we're talking about are the nets that you will be identifying to build some three-dimensional shapes so something like this look this is what shape is this, Mr. Benjamin? That line is amazingly straight. That looks like a rectangle. Yeah, so we're going to divide this rectangle in four smaller rectangles, right? Okay. And we're going to draw one square here and one square here. Now, if you see this net, it's a two-dimensional shape. But this net actually is... Hold on a second, Mr. I've got to show you something. Yes. Something really, really cool. Watch. See, look, N E T S. Let's. Ha 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 ha. All right, all right, all right. I get rid of that. There you go. That's good. That's good. <laughs> so look, now we're gonna draw the three-dimensional shape of this net. That it will give you something like this. So you're gonna draw your. You're drawing your rectangle there. Find the middle of this rectangle and draw another one inside it. Like that, like that, and like that, and then you are going to connect the corners, and you have the three-dimensional shape. That's so amazing. This is the net for the shape. Now, how? What's the name of the shape? The shape. This is the rectangular press. Rectangular press. That is how we, the, the nets are used to create three-dimensional shapes. So this Benjamin. side here is what? This side here in front? Uh, uh, yes. And this side beside it must be... It will be this side, this yes. This side beside mm -hmm. it. And this side here... Will be... The one in the back? Well, yep. that's horrible. But we know what it is. It's in the back. Is it the back? Yes. And then this side here... Is on the one, side, right? And then you've got the top the, and bottom, right? X circle X and there. circle X. And Beautiful. Yeah. So that's how it works. And it can work with other shapes too, right? Oh yeah, of course. You can do the same thing with uh, with a cube. Do you want me to do the cube? Yeah, I think it's a good idea. Sure. Should we erase I all can this? Do the cube. Sure. That's a shame. It looks beautiful. Oh well. Sure. That no, that's fine. Okay. So we're gonna do it now. We know that the cube is made. It's back. Oh my gosh. How, how many how many sides have a cube? A cube has six sides. Yeah, six sides. So what rem what reminds you most of a cube? Maybe let's say a die. Oh yeah, that's a good right? idea. We should make dies. Yeah. So a die will will be a good idea. All right. So you have in here now instead of you drawing sorry instead of you drawing rectangles we're gonna draw squares. We're gonna have one. Two, I don't know, they'll still look like rectangles three. to me. <laughs> I'm trying very hard to make squares. 
There you go. It's very close. It's close enough. It's Beautiful. Right. So we're going to draw now the cube. Again, you draw a straight square, of course. Find the middle and draw another square inside. It's very easy because some people have difficulty drawing this, and that's very, very simple. Mm -hmm. There you go. So this one is the net for the cube. So this one is the cube. Okay, the cube is nice and all, but I have one too. I'm going to draw one. Okay, sure. And I'm going to start drawing it. I want to see if somebody can guess what they think it is. So I'm going to start off with a square in the middle. I'm going to put a triangle on top. I'm going to put a triangle on the bottom. Triangle over here. And another triangle oh, on this that's side. that's amazing. So you got north, south, east, west. That's awesome. But what does that make? Can I, can I draw it? Yeah, you can draw it, because I can't. It's a good sure. idea. Look, so now we have, uh, actually, this is the base. This is the base. Mm -hmm. And then I am just going to have a little dot in here. And then I'm going to connect the, the vertices of or the corner, sorry. How do you fix that? Technical difficulties. Ha, ha, ha. So I'm going to just do this. And go there, and go there. Beautiful. Kind of. It's not that good as yours, but... See, if I were to draw it, I would draw it like this. And nobody would have known what I was doing. Oh. Because that's the top, see? But anyways, yeah. oh, what do we call this one? You look oh, this one is called a pyramid. This pyramid. Is not, yeah. So this one will be the square-based pyramid. Mm -hmm. Because this is a square, and when you bring all the triangles together as a tipping, right? It's called a prism. So that's it. Square prism. based pyramid. Prism. Square based prism? Yeah. Squared base square, right? Not just square, square. Yeah. Sorry. So that's the square. There you base. go. Square base. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> square base pyramid. Apparently, Mysterio didn't like the top of our prism. Anyways, that's enough nets for now. One thing that we haven't covered recently, and we really should have been covering, and we apologize for that, that's our learning goals. Now, this is something that you can always take, something you can always look back to and say, well, what did I learn, or what should I have learned from that last lesson or video? So for this presentation, this lesson, we have two learning goals. The first one being identifying the 3D shape from a given net. And that's basically what we've been doing. We looked at the square, which turned into a cube. And, cube and, and we looked at the rectangle, which turned into a rectangular-based prism. And we also looked at the... And the pyramid. The pyramid. Right. The other thing we want to do is be able to build a 3D shape from a given net. And it's the same idea, really. If you can identify the shape, you should be able to build it. So if we give you a net like this one, you should be able to look at that and say, oh, hey, that's a uh, square-based prism or a cube or a rectangular-based prism. And you should be able to draw it. Just like so. And remember, we will be trying these in class. So if you're having a bit of trouble right now, don't worry too much about it because we will go over it. One more thing before we go any further. We have a quiz coming up. This quiz will be on... Composite shapes and circles, the area and perimeter. Keep that in mind on Thursday. What do you think? Okay, yeah, that sounds good. Circumference and calculating the circumference and the circle and the uh, composite shapes, that will be your quiz. So if you didn't do, do, do too good on the last quiz, that is your opportunity for the, on Thursday to do good on this one so your mark will go up. Area and perimeter. Perimeter. And of course, for circles, it's known as circumference. Yeah. Circumference. Sir, I come from France. Remember our little guy? Yeah. So it's all the way around. <laughs> I come from France. Okay, so. So I think we're good to go. So what do we say? And <laughs> thank you. And. Um, See you tomorrow, and I hope you watch the video. And happy studying for your quiz. Yay, goodbye now. <laughs>